What's going on? Patch Ruler here, giving this channel a kind of second attempt. I thought it up a while ago, figured I'd give it another shot, and what I'm going to do here is, well, design a patch. I'm going to do two flaps, so these are Order the Arrow patch designs. Uh, kind of just give people ideas of what they can do, and I uh, have fun designing for myself for my own launch. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is do a two uh, flap design. It could be used for a conclave, a NOAC, anything like that. And I'm going to theme it around an anime I'm rather a fan of, uh, Dr. Stone. So if you're a fan of Dr. Stone and or are looking for ideas to on how to design us a uh, Order of the Arrow flap, I'm just going to walk you through how I tend to go about it. So let's get started. All right, so I'm starting out here with a basic outline. You can find this if you Google uh, OA flap outlines. Uh, comes down a little bit down the list, but just something simple, border, background. And what I'm going to do is start off, control C, control V, get a duplicate. If I can have the two up there. This is a five by two design. I'm going to do that again for each of these. Right above, grab the magic eraser and clear the center of the top layers. It wants twice, and what this lets you do is change the border color independent of the background. So, Dr. Stone, it's an anime. Um, the premise of it is humanity gets turned to stone, or most of humanity gets turned to stone, and awaken 10,000 years, and you follow the story of a scientist who's coming back and trying to restore society. Cool concept, fun to watch, if you're looking for something to watch, it's a good watch. Uh, but pretty much you got a combination of primitive and scientific all at once, along with the well, name of the show, Stone. So, Stone Age technology trying to build phones and electronics but it's got some cool concepts and i figured it'd be fun to mess around with i i do two one i'm going to focus more kind of stone colored on uh one will be stone one will be more of a fabric theme. I kind of like the main character's shirt color. I think would work well. Playing around with border colors. I don't, I don't know why I'm starting with the border. Be more of a grayish brown. Yeah, that looks good. Why I did the backgrounds works out because and come in and do a full color on those. Starting point for stone. When you're doing a patch design, uh, you want to kind of keep it as simple as possible. Maybe use a few colors. And of course, whenever you're working on a photo program like this, uh, you're not going to get color accurate. So it, you're, you'll be limited by the threads, but they can generally get it close enough. The other is I was going for a, kind of that, a warm fabric color. Yeah, like that. They're close, but they're not exact. So oh, that will be the starting point. So I'm going for something themed on the show, uh, but I'm tr gonna try and not uh, copy or get close enough to where it would really be considered uh, copyright. Cause you could grab art, throw it on a patch, it would look really cool. But with patch design, if you're trying to get anything approved by the BSA, uh, it can be themed by, but it can't be exactly so. Color schemes work, uh, basic imagery, but nothing that would be called uh, considered copyright. So you can't use actual art or anything too close to the art, but imitations or general themes. And that's kind of what I'm going for here. 
Forgive me if I'm a little rambly. I'm still kind of working out what I want to do with these. Now, the big thing in Dr. Stone is... I'm going to move that on uh, the main character's uh, shirt. And that's not what I wanted to do either. There we go. Get some text out there. It has... Plus equals MC squared. Do the squared. I'm going to just do that. Now that I have the text blocks made around. Not the color I want to use. Possibly the font. But it's not the worst font. That would be an easy font to uh, broider. Uh, let's try some different fonts. Comic Sans is a little funny. Pretty much choosing a font. You want something that matches what you're going for, uh, but also easy to embroider. So if it's a fancy font like that, that right there, that's not going to be easy to embroider. Try a bunch of different things. You can do some funky ones, though. Um, a lot of people stick to a basic font, especially for lodge names. But if you're part of the art, and if you make it large enough, you can always go Joker Man. Uh, si it's just a matter of keeping size and how well it'd be able to stitch. Uh, of course, you can always make the font larger if you want to do something fancy. Try out a few different ones. Go Roboto. Of course, color. I'm going to go for a red on this. Go for an outline. I kind of like outlines, especially for this. Um, something. Yeah, it's going to be harder to stitch, though. Stick with the color, but maybe go a darker red. about text is edit and text editor you can also edit it in the blocks if you're in Photoshop uh, which is very nice well, we're starting to get a basic concept in here Now, if you look at um, in Dr. Stone, uh, the main character, I think it's uh, ah, watch the show. I should know the names. But anyway, the main character, his shirt, and it's got some funky patterns on it. So we're going to throw that in here. Pretty much like it was stitched together. So that a over there should be under. Isn't, but that's okay. We can just drop it down a few until we get it below the border like that. Come over here. Down like that. Put over. The good thing about working with layers is you can erase only something on the layer you want to erase. Put 
big box like that. This isn't going to be anything too overly polished. Uh, just going to be kind of a basic concept. Doing something quick, testing a video idea. Kind of easier to add than to erase to get the shape you want. But you can do both. We add some extra lines here, like it's together. And then uh, just a little extra tie-in in character. Got that green and white hair. Very spiky. I think you can see a little bit of it in the background. Have a swirl of it coming in from the side. Just a couple of colors so far. So this, I'll use two. It could be a lizard's tail, but uh, my basic concept are across. Hey, if you're a lodge that has a lizard totem, that would work out very well for you. A kind of combination where it could be this, but it could be something else. Or a snake tail. Uh, again, you're going for an implication of something without getting too close, but it, can, and it gets the Dr. Stone concept around. Go ahead and grab a fleur de lis because you are required on any scout patch to have one of these. Um, and nothing covering it. In this case, right here. I'd usually like to have them blend in. So I'm going to represent it with a different color, a kind of darker but similar what stands out, but I would really, when this was in production, would want that um, woven out of the same thread color as the rest of the design. So it's got the pattern, but not the color sticking. And of course, for text, we're gonna add the www. black works very well for this kind of text we're gonna go for something a little different because we have types of text on there could be interesting one's part of the design and one's uh just something that blend in do that separately as well want it on this oh could do Go here. Have it be stitches. Yeah, like the idea, but not fan the execution. So we'll go back to just having it right there. And then, of course, you were doing a full design here. You'd add the lodge name across the top. So, you have a lodge name.
add that, you can kind of see how you might want to move some pieces around. Typically have the lodge name, at least uh, in my area, we put the lodge name up at the top. And then we put whatever event it is. Otherwise here, I'll go. A little different. What? Let's do the stone color from over here. First you throw your event down here. Here over here. That didn't quite do what I wanted it to. I wanted to make angle but hate it that And feel free to change colors as you go. Like maybe you need a little more distinction between the border the more you do. This one's got a very, it's a little bland, but pop that up with the text, I think. Go for a very... I, I like outlining text. Go a bit with it. Very different feel with how you outline it. You're not the best here, though. Lodge name kind of blends in with that color. Do we want darker or lighter? Both. This is where we like that, that, maybe. a lot of it has to do with what you like and, and what looks good. Of course, if you're doing a border around your text, the text has to be large enough for it to actually be. What? I kind of like that orange. Uh, uh, yeah. Orange actually works pretty good with this design. the orange as color works pretty well.
Okay, that looks really good. Creamsicle colors there. Of course, instead of year, you could have the year somewhere else or, you know, put it over here with the event, in which case you'd swap that. Delegate. Have a delegate and a trader patch, which most events where we're doing lodge flaps, uh, my lodge tends to do that. So if we've got conclave, we do a trader and a delegate. I like to try different uh, places for a lot of the pieces. Of course, if you have your lodge totem, uh, that would be a good place to sneak it in on this design. I'd kind of go for a uh, darker version like this. Uh, you know, not darker, but you know, monochromatic. So if you've got a monochromatic version or could take it down to a couple colors, stick it right here. Uh, I, I I don't have my mouse visible on the screen. For the top of this box is right here, right around this area right here. You know, stick a totem in there. Move the fleur de lis over. We can't have anything covering the fleur de lis. But yeah, your lot showed them wouldn't be the central design, which is probably not. It depends. Some lodges like it, don't. Of course, if you got a lizard or a snake, you can claim that tail is part of your mascot. Maybe have the little face coming in on the other side. Uh, let's swap over to the other side, though, because um, again, half the focus it's the science, which we got with the E equals M squared, but also the Stone Age stuff. Part of that was represented by the villain of the show. Uh, you know, one was uh, very focused on science, the other was focused on strength and the Stone Age uh, portion. So it was a conflict of the different eras. And it makes it a good show. Orange, but you give it a different feel. Copy this. That over there. So I do the text last. But when you're working, it's pretty easy to copy. That's the way to go. Color first. I like the lighter color on the text. A layer. It'll be visible. Antagonist kind of has the same thing going on with a wild hair color. Brown. Definitely be moving this layer down a bit. And 
let's give it the idea of crumbling rock. I'm going to undo a good bit of that, though. Because what I wanted to do is actually get that on a separate layer. Go under this. You can mess around with different shapes to get looks better. do a thing like that here punk break out I was gonna spend more time on this uh, yeah, yeah function playing around with this different sizes might be cool idea is that characters turning to stone would jump like that it through veins off of veins go off the patch to be a little bit bigger Really feel like crumbling. We go too thin on the lines. Of course, we're kind of breaking off from that center point. Smaller break. Now, make sure everything's primarily connected. That's an extra places so it's not as consistent especially the air section breaks some places does others and another layer
like the other one. This one. Or got it. Hi, though. Here. Found it. Eh, that's the best eye, but kind of cool. Gives kind of the impression of what's going on. A little bit of work like that. Kind of cool, kind of creepy. Please work on as you go to. Found some stuff. This is going to be a really rough one. This is me just messing around with concepts, uh, working through my, how I would go about something thought process wise. Hopefully, you get a couple ideas, figure out a couple techniques, find some cool ideas or stuff that will work. Usually I like to put things in similar places. It doesn't always work with all designs. Ooh. I like that. It's got to get the www. It's got to be on all patch design. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we can actually set that down here since we've got the the trader one which we don't put usually put trader on the patch uh, i put delegate and i put fundraiser but whatever the base one is leave it as is All right, and there you go. Is a rough concept for a Dr. Stoned themed match set. Uh, let me know what you think down below. I am definitely thinking of doing some more of these, trying to figure out what I really want to do with the uh, channel here. I do a lot of patch designs for Okanichi. And if you like this design, uh, I'm not going to use this for anything, so I'll put a link to it. If you want to try and get your lodge to produce this, be my guest. Let me know how it turns out. Well, thank you for watching. Patch Ruler here. Signing out.